you know, American guys are always asking, like, does this shirt go with this suit or this tie? And if you ask me, you know, they just worry about that kind of stuff too much. So to help sort of address this and set the record straight, I've invited my good friend Ewan Relly, who, in addition to being a successful banker, is also an unabashed aesthete and complete show off. I'm glad to have the chance to show off today. Thanks for having me. So tell me a little bit about the art of clashing, because you, sir, obviously have mastered it. I'll take that as a compliment. First thing is not to worry about it too much. Uh -huh. If you worry too much and if you're too cautious, you're not going to get it right. Most of my friends in New York have been wearing a white shirt, a narrow tie, and I think it might be time to do something different. So tell me about what you've done here. This morning, I picked out a, a fairly conservative chalk stripe suit, yep. but I decided to wear a, a, a somewhat different shirt. With You don't want to look like a parrot right. or a clown, sure. and having said that, I think Particularly if you have uh, uh, fabrics or, or textures that vary. So you go in one direction with the suit and go in a completely opposite direction with the shirt. Can you do it without a British accent? No. No. no it's impossible. Sorry. Unfortunately, you have yeah. to be. No, no, of course, of course you can. <laughs> of course you can. Right. But the idea is to, to think about the way you dress, but not seem like you're thinking about it too hard. Actually, the, 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 the handkerchief was made by my mother-in-law, and it's a uh, Liberty of London print. And I think it just shakes up what's otherwise a conservative suit, makes it a bit more fun to wear. Even with your cufflinks, cufflinks don't even match. Well, I'm being almost silly with my cufflinks today. My wife gave me a pair of these uh, for our wedding anniversary. The second one I reached out from the, from the cufflink box is a married couple, maybe, having an argument on a bright yellow cufflink. Uh, you not know, a wedding. It's not a not wedding, wedding gift, no, no, definitely yeah. not. But sometime today, for sure, someone's going to say, hell, you and your, your cufflinks don't match. And I'm going to say, don't think too much about it. So there is a little bit of red and blue there. Blue here, red, blue. I, Tyler, uh, I, mean, I don't want you to think I've just... carefully calculated every uh, Pantone color. I actually, I got up, I put the suit on. Uh, I thought, what shirt would be fun to wear with it? And I picked out the shirt. And if, if I was horrified by looking at myself in the mirror, I'd change it. But nine times out of 10, the lucky dip approach to uh, addressing is right. Put on what you see in the morning, what you feel like right. wearing, and that's great. Once you know the rules, you're right. allowed to break them. Truer words were never spoken. Seriously, you got to know the rules to know how to break them. And you have to break them on occasion. Ewan, thanks.